The next time you're watching a movie with a plane in it, you might wonder how they got that shot. Was the computer generated, or did the producers rent a plane? Which aircraft does Hollywood use for filmmaking? Well, let's explore. Renting a cargo Boeing 747. For the film Air Force One, Hollywood needed an entire plane for the film that looked as realistic as possible on the inside and out. Instead of building a set, the production team hired a real life 747 cargo plane from American International Airways and painted it in the presidential livery. This aircraft would fly and be the muse for the exterior shots of the presidential plane. Apparently, the livery was so realistic that it confused some nearby fighter jets during production in California. Quote, They came up and saw what looked like Air Force One full of bullet holes, simulated by decals. The director of the film recalls to Airspace magazine. Once they ID'd it, they were told who we were and they broke off and went home. But I can imagine what was going through their minds. For the interiors, the production team partnered up with the US Air Force to use actual previous Air Force One, a Boeing 727-200. Talk about realism. For the scene in which the hero Lisa jumped from the plane, the US Air Force provided a C-130 transport plane, strung a real-life wire between the two aircraft, and filmed it in flight. Alas, the dummy that zipped across was tossed around by the wind so much that it was cut and replaced with the computer-generated look-alike. A Boeing 747 in a spy film Another example of Hollywood renting a well-known aircraft is an ex-British Airways Boeing 747-200, tail number G-BDXJ, that starred in the James Bond film Casino Royale. Painted with a fictional N88892 livery, the plane was decked out as a new prototype aircraft, the Skyfleet S570, from fictional aviation firm Skyfleet Aviation. The filmmakers changed the aircraft engine nacelle the to have two engines and give it that retro space age look. The same Boeing 747 would also be used for a music video featuring Westlife and for an advert for insurance firm Compare the Market. Late last year, British Airways sold another X747-400 to the same firm and this would join the Spy 747 and the BBC Top Gear test track for filmmaking purposes. Buying a 747 to crash it. My next example comes from the 2020 film Tenet. It films a Boeing 747 with a very unusual role. During development, it was discovered that it would be cheaper to buy an older 747 frame and crash it for real, while rolling on the tarmac, then using computer imagery. Quote, The crew found the plane while scouting locations in Victorville, California, because the plane only rolled on the ground and didn't need to fly, the filmmakers could use a real cargo 747 for the majority of the scene and interiors, and then swap it out for a shell for the crash. Talk about a second life for an airframe. Buying a plane to chop it up. But one director wanted to take a step further. In the film adaptation of War of the Worlds, there is a scene where the hero, Tom Cruise, awakes to a plane crash with what appears to be an entire aircraft strewn across a neighbourhood. To achieve this look for only three days of filming, an old Boeing 747 was brought to the production set at Universal Studios California and chopped up. The plane itself only cost $60,000, but the cost of the transport itself was around $200,000. The set can still be visited today in Los Angeles and has been certainly paid itself off. How do films shoot inside of a plane? These three examples show how Hollywood uses the exterior of planes. But how do they get the actors' interior shots moving around the cabin? 
That is where the professional Air Hollywood comes in. This firm specialises in aviation filming and offers an incredible range of sets. Everything from 737s, 767s, private jets, cockpits, toilets, terminals and even jet bridges. They have an entire Boeing 747 layout with three classes fashioned in the 1970s Pan Am interior. These sets are nearly portable and customisable and can be taken anywhere in the world. Air Hollywood's 747 widebody jet has become the iconic Pan Am interior furnishing and styling. There are three cabins, the main deck, first class cabin or A zone, where the walls taper towards those of the aircraft, the main deck, business class cabin and the upper deck lounge. Why doesn't Hollywood use real cabinet interiors? Some films feature actual airline cabins, especially if it's a quick shot, although airlines are generally reluctant to dip their toes into the limelight. For the film, Crazy Rich Asians, Singapore Airlines declined the producer's request to film in its first class cabin, despite the film being all about Singapore's luxury side. The actors instead flew on board a set of a fictional airline called Pacific Asian Airlines. It is incredible to see what can be done with Hollywood's magic. Alas, the one thing we yet have to see is our heroes inside a realistic economy cabin with only 30 inches of legroom. So what do you think of this? Have you ever been on an aircraft set before? Let me know in the comment section as I'd be intrigued to know the story. But that is all in today's video. So smash the like button if you found something out new today that you did not know. Share this video with friends and family to get the word around. You or recent? Consider subscribing. But until next time, keep your eyes on the skies.